Asher B. Durand is one of the United States' most important landscape painters. His work uh, is right in line with Albert Bierstadt, uh, George Innes, uh, Thomas Cole, other great American landscape painters. Durand was really a forerunner of the Hudson River School. Uh, he worked with Thomas Cole, one of the Hudson River School's founders, sketching in the Adirondack Mountains. Uh, he also uh, was really connected to a movement in the 19th century in which writers and artists were looking and re-examining the beauty of the American landscape. Also in the 19th century, you know, there's this idea of manifest destiny, sort of the God-given right, right, for Americans to move west uh, and settle west and take possession of new lands. And paintings by Durand and his Hudson River School colleagues really evoke that idea. In this particular painting, one of the interesting aspects that kind of evokes to me that idea of manifest destiny is the figures that appear in the foreground, a man riding a horse, a man next to him, and a small dog that follows behind. You know, the immensity of the landscape is in contrast to the size of the people who appear very minuscule. And that's very much the idea of the writings of Emerson and Thoreau, the celebration of the grandiose nature. Uh, and at the same time, the very kind of colonial uh, ideology of manifest destiny, that land is to be possessed and conquered. Durand uh, was an amazing artist in the way in which he played with shadow and light, and our landscape particularly represents that, as you see the interplay of light and shadow uh, across the composition. Uh, so, the Hudson River School artists like Duran were very interested in studying nature um, and certainly sketched nature uh, outdoors, but these paintings were completed uh, in their studios. Durand uh, spent a lot of his life in New Jersey, he, though he spent much of his time in the United States in one area of our country, New England, uh, his lasting impact on the way in which artists approached the American landscape uh, affected artists throughout the country, including those who painted the American West and our California.